There may come a time when you are writing your script that it gets a little bit long and a little bit unmanageable. Well, one thing we do that you can do as well is break it down into chunks. You can break it down into sequences by grabbing yourself some scissors and some sellotape and just cut out your scenes and make it into sort of like micro stories. Instead of just one long story, you can think of every scene as a short film. So every scene needs to have a setup and a payoff. It needs to have some sort of character doing something to accomplish something. Every films, short films, feature films, even documentaries have this. And that's a way to make even the shortest scene entertaining. So next time you have a script that is a little bit daunting, try cutting it down, uh, breaking it apart, and think about it in manageable chunks. One thing you can do in pre-production is to go online and find reference images of how you would like your film to look. We've gone online and found images, mainly actually interiors from different films and actually different pieces of art. It'll allow you to see how other films are lit and the different type of colour tones that people use. And there's a great actual website called Movies in Colour, which is this one here, which takes stills from films and shows you the different colour palettes. Uh, so I've got a couple here, which you can, that, this one's from Kill Bill, this one's from True Detective. This will give you a head start, so a painter works from a blank canvas. We don't really need to, we can go on the internet, find these reference images and work from there. This is just inspiration that you can take from the millions of other films that people have created in the past. And it's something you can do for free and it helps you get in the mindset of how you want your film to look and then you can work from that instead of the blank canvas because it's difficult to do that. Think back to the best lessons you ever had at school. They were probably the really fun ones where they were a little bit different and the teachers almost convinced you that you were no longer at school and you were just doing something really fun. Well, this is what we try to do with our episodes, with our BTS and with our short films. We try to get something educational, but we try to disguise it in entertainment. If you want a dog to take their medicine, you coat it in peanut butter. This is what filmmaking is all about. You have something moral, you have something that has a, has a keen message, and then you hide it in something entertaining. Bad films either have a really, really visible moral compass and lacking entertainment, or they're just entertaining without any real message. And trying to find the balance is what makes a great film. It's not something we've succeeded with just yet, but it's certainly something we are trying out. So next time you are writing your script or you think about a cool idea, try to get something that has a nice message that you want to tell the world and then coat it in something that tastes really good. 